Finally tonight, some words about a dear colleague and friend who many of you welcomed into your living rooms for a good many years. John Palmer passed away today at the age of 77. Been there, done that only begins to describe John's career as a veteran NBC News correspondent. He wore a lot of hats in his 40 years here and covered a lot of ground and a lot of history. There was no one better in the trenches and as a colleague, no one more liked. We asked his longtime friend Andrea Mitchell to reflect on his life and remarkable career. The fighting area in the southeastern suburb. From Beirut to Washington, John Palmer was that rare soul in the rough-and-tumble world of television news. Smart, brave, but always courtly. A southern gentleman cloaked in the trench coat of a dashing foreign correspondent. As one person put it, Paris without the Eiffel Tower is like a Frenchman without wine. For 50 years, he covered wars, summits, and politics in the field, and from the anchor desk on Today. This is Today. In the news this morning, the Israeli... The pride of Kingsport, Tennessee, John got his first break in Atlanta in 1960. Just two years later, he joined NBC News, where he would spend the better part of the next 40 years. At times, the fighting has been heavy, with both sides using mortars and machine guns. In the early years, his assignments were dangerous and gritty, based in Tel Aviv, Beirut, and Paris, covering the Arab-Israeli wars and the civil war in Lebanon. The subject of that meeting is... Until 1979, when he was named NBC News White House correspondent, ultimately covering five presidents, Jimmy Carter, Ronald Reagan, both Bushes, and Bill Clinton. Always a supportive colleague to the rest of us, including a rising network star. John Palmer brought to the White House beat his foreign policy experience and a steady, reassuring voice in good times and bad. The president returns to Washington early next week and the possibility of finally explaining his relationship with Monica Lewinsky. But it may have been this moment that defined his career, April 25th, 1980. This is an NBC News special report. John learned that the Carter administration was attempting to rescue the American hostages in Iran, and it failed. The president asked him to hold the story until the teams were safely out of Iranian territory. The rescue mission had been aborted, and eight Americans had died. In 1982, John joined the Today Show family, where he spent seven years alongside Brian Gumbel and Jane Pauley, guiding us all through moments of triumph and tragedy. There was a huge, bright ball of fire, an explosion John loved Sinatra, golf, and fishing. But his most treasured role was that of husband and father. He met his wife, Nancy, in NBC's Washington Bureau in 1979, where she worked for Nightly News. Now a freelance journalist and writer, Nancy and John have three daughters. Molly, a Today Show producer, married to television newsman Lee Cowan. Carter, who works in the entertainment industry. And Hope, who is also following in her parents' footsteps in journalism at the NBC Bureau in Washington. During the Today Show's 60th anniversary, John was every bit the proud dad. And she was yeah. born on December 10th, and now she's proudly with the Today Show. In the Passing on his dedication and passion to his daughters, and leaving a legacy in work and life for all of us that lives on. A week ago, John was singing Fly Me to the Moon. Now, after a short, sudden illness, he is playing among the stars. Andrea Mitchell, NBC News, Washington. And that's NBC Nightly News for this Saturday. I'm Lester Holt reporting from New York. I'll see you tomorrow morning on Today and back here tomorrow evening. Good night.